summer is coming really soon, I'm going to make a Pinterest inspired summer outfit for a doll. If you noticed, I've also been making some more videos on Wednesdays lately because I just wanted to have some more content. I'm going to try and make this outfit for a doll. It has like a sweatshirt with a logo and then some shorts. I'm going to try and make the sweatshirt first. So first I'm going to start with some white t-shirt fabric because it's nice and stretchy. I'm going to move this over to my cutting board because I've ruined way too many backgrounds I'm just cutting it on here. First I'm going to cut a piece that is six inches in height and three and a half inches in width. I'm going to take the end pieces and fold them to the center. Now I'm going to cut out some shapes in the corners for the sleeves to go. Like this, and then the same thing on the other side. So when you open it up, it should look something like this. I also cut a small dip in the middle so that I can put a collar here. I'm going to cut two three by four inch pieces for the sleeves. I'm going to line up the end of the sleeve with the U shape here. I'm going to sew going all the way around. I also added a zigzag stitch along the edge just to make it a little bit cleaner. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I cut two strips to be cuffs and I fold them in half like this and line them up with the sleeve and I pull slightly as I sew and go along the edge. I also did a zigzag stitch on the edge of this one too. I did the same thing with the other one. I'm not going to add anything to this bottom here because I kind of want it to have a rough look so that it looks like the picture. But now I'm going to fold the sleeves in half like this and fold this over and sew going from here until here. And do it on both sides. Now I take a piece of the t-shirt that is kind of like the cuff so that it's stretchy like this and I'm going to turn this inside out and I'm going to line it up with the edge here and so going across. Then I'm going to fold both raw ends like this and sew from the bottom up to the collar. Turn it inside out. If you want to, you can use an iron-on or paint a logo onto the front. I ran out of iron-on paper, so I just painted on a logo. And I also put a little bit of paint on this cuffs to make a sweatshirt. Now I'm going to make some shorts. So I cut out two rectangles that are four inches by two and a half inches. First, I'm just going to hem the bottom of both of them so that the ends of them are nice and clean. And I'm going to line them up like this. And I'm going to sew from here to the top. I turn it over and then I cut another piece like this and I'm going to sew it along the top, pulling it as I go. Then I turn it over, I'm going to fold it like this and sew from the top to the same spot on the other side. And then I fold it like this and I'm going to sew this shape right here. Turn it inside out to make shorts. You can also add iron-ons or paint onto these. I used some iron-on paper to make stripes. Here's what the final outfit looks like on a doll, and I think it actually looks pretty close to the picture. I actually really like it. I'd rather have used an iron-on, but the paint actually is okay. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you thought and what kind of videos you want to see. Also, follow us on Instagram. Bye! Hmm, should I wear this outfit or have a different one? Wait, I like this one. <laughs>